so uh, hello there and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be talking about something that I really didn't find online yet and I don't think there's any documentation for it. I'm going to be telling you how to run your watch kit apps on a real Apple Watch. Now usually if you were to run your Apple Watch apps uh, on the real Apple Watch you would get an error uh, that would say that your application could not be verified. However, when watching this, while watching this tutorial, you'll learn exactly how to register your Apple Watch with your developer account in order to uh, actually have it uh, run your apps. So, let's get started. Okay, so now that we're at the Mac, let's see how it actually works. So, now we want to find the UDID of the Apple Watch and connect it to our developer account. So let's do it. To find the UDID, you go to Xcode, and number one, you have to make sure, just completely make sure that your Apple Watch and your iPhone are both paired together. If they're not paired together, it, this won't work. Okay, so let's go back to the Mac now. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor up and it'll show this little menu. So I want to click on the window button here, and then I want to uh, go down and click on devices. It'll open up another window where if you click on your actual iPhone while it's plugged in, then it'll tell you the device information for your iPhone, for your Apple Watch, and all the installed apps on your iPhone. So we want the UDID for our paired watch. So as you can see under device information, we have paired watch information, and under paired watch information, we have identifier last. So this identifier is a UDID that we have to copy in to our developer account, just like we would any other iPhone, iPod, or iPad. So now we go Command C to copy this, and then we go here, uh, and then we just want to go to your Apple developer account, Go to the iOS developer, uh, or no, you need to go to the Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles page. And so now we can click on the Devices button. And now it's just like any other Apple device. You just click the plus button, you give it a name, and I'll say Apple Watch. And you just paste in your UDID and you click Continue. That's really all you need to do here. I'm just going to put an underscore since I already have it registered. So as you can see, I'm going to register. And it doesn't let me since I already have this registered. But uh, that's basically how you would actually connect the UDID. Now that we've connected our UDID to our developer account, what we can do is we can go back to our device. And over here, you want to select the target uh, whatever your app's name is, Watch Kid App. Select it, and then uh, ask it to run on your iPhone, not your watch. Then, turn on your watch, exit the clock, and uh, run the app. I'm just going to make sure this doesn't sleep. And you can run it by doing Command R. And as you can see, in just a second here, uh, the app, called Guessing Game, will actually run on the Apple Watch. So as you can see here, Sorry, um, it's uh, opening up the app, uh, Xcode is opening the app, and in just a second here, once it's done loading, as you can see, it runs the app on the watch. So, it didn't give us an error, application verification failed, it doesn't give us any errors. So, that's basically how you do it. Okay, so, just one last thing before we end. Let's actually run the app so you know how it works. So as you can see, I have the app here, and I've already made a tutorial for this on my YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, I'll put a link to that in the description. But just for now, let me explain. Basically, this guessing game app allows you to enter numbers, and it, the computer will tell you if the number is right or wrong. You get unlimited tries, but it counts how many tries you've done. Look, if you enter a number too big, the computer will tell you that your number is too big. If you enter a number too small, the computer will tell you that your number is too small. 
So as you can see here, I'm just going to click on the new number button. So it generates a new random number in memory. I can do that as many times as I want if I want to restart the game. And then, let's just say my guess is 6. As you can see, I'm clicking bigger 6 times. So you can see 6 is in this label. That means that my guess is 6. But wait, how do I tell the computer that my guess is 6? You click the submit button and the watch knows that you've clicked it. And as you can see, I got lucky here and 6 was actually the random number. So let's just click new number again. And let's just say uh, 7 is my, my choice. This is too small. And if I haven't said this already, this app will generate a random number from 1 to 30. So if 7 is too small, that means the number is, in, is between 7 and 30. So as you can see, I can go up. Maybe my next number is 11. 11 is too big. That means it's in between 7 and 11. So I can go a little bit smaller if I want to. Submit. And I got, le I got it right. Correct in three tries. As you can see, it says 9. Correct in three tries. So then basically I can keep on doing that. And now you have proof that this app actually works on the watch. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, comment if you have any questions or improvements. And please like the video if you liked it. Goodbye.